largest metaphysical events in the Midwest is returning to the Sharonville Convention Center. The Victory of Light Expo is this weekend. It features 300 psychics, healers, and others, all focusing on this world and the next. And this morning, renowned psychic Victor Peruta is sitting down with us for a little preview. Victor, good to see you. Good to see you. You actually started this as a, as a fair, right? That's right. Tell us how it all got started and, and what uh, you did. This was yeah. way back in 1992, and I had a bookstore at the time. Mm -hmm. A psychic came into my store and oh. said, you should start a psychic fair. And here I am 27 years later, <laughs> wow. the psychic fair has grown to be one of the largest metaphysical conventions in the entire country. Why do people love things like this so much, do you think? We don't get this stuff in our daily lives. Ah, yeah. And it helps us reconnect with our spirituality. You know, people pretend that spirituality isn't important or they don't need it. But we're all spiritual people mm -hmm. and we need a connection to something greater than us. And developing that connection and learning how to do that helps us deal with life more effectively. Hmm. Why do you think that some people might be kind of afraid of this kind of topic or maybe a little just apprehensive about it? Well, there are a lot of reasons. Some reasons are just fear, fear of the unknown. And a lot of times we're afraid, uh, you know, psychics are one of those careers like <laughs> lawyers. Sure. <laughs> where you're, where, you're skeptical, where right? You're a little, yeah. you know, you worry, you know. But uh, it's, it's really a powerful experience. I, I remember after graduating from college way back when, I was in a type of identity crisis because I went to school for four years and I was out in the, I got a great job at a, business uh, 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 done in Bradstreet, which is you know, yeah. prestigious. And I hated it. And I thought, is this what my college, uh, four years of college prepared me for? So I went through an identity crisis. And it wasn't until I had a reading with a psychic that mm. life started making sense. Because hmm. yeah. they're dealing with you on a soul level. Mm -hmm. And the soul is connected to your feelings. So when you're getting a reading, it isn't somebody tricking you, it's somebody talking to your soul. Wow. And you know, children are connected to their souls. Oh, it's yeah. something that they wear their hearts on their sleeves. It's natural for them. We, we are like that too, but we've learned to suppress that right. and hide our feelings. But with the psychic or with the spiritual experience, you know, the lid blows off yeah. and you start seeing and dealing with all the things that you suppress in your day-to-day -day life. Can I say too that I think one of the good things about if you wanted to explore this and you've never done it before about coming to your festival mm -hmm. is that you know these people who are coming. So I think when you think of psychic, you think of a psychic hotline that you call and some right. of those people may not actually be real it, psychics, but absolutely. you can come here and you them, know, right? you yeah. vetted these people, you know who they are. Oh, right. sure, um, yeah. And they're all pretty established in their you know what sure. they do so coming to this is a good place to start you know it's so funny w watching people walk into the psychic fair because yeah. a lot of the first timers they walk in there and they have that look on their face like <laughs> what am i getting myself right. into yeah. and then you see them through the day and they're smiling and by the time they leave they are in a great mood mm. because everybody at the psychic fair is there to help you right and we offer a lot of seminars that teach you how to develop your own intuition we were talking about children we've got one talk uh, it's it's kind of it's called when kids see dead people mm -hmm. now you've heard of that phenomenon of kids having invisible friends or right. talking to grandma or grandpa who died many sure. years before they were born that talk deals with that we've also got a talk on intuition for teenagers and teenagers need that because they're so susceptible to peer pressure so if they learn to connect with their own intuition that own inner voice they could avoid some of the problems that other, some teenagers have when they're misled by their parents. So do you encourage people to bring their, their kids, bring oh, yeah. their, their it's family, a family to we, it? Yeah. We've designed it to be family friendly. That's great. It's a festival. So we have yeah. live music, food, face painting, aura photography, henna tattoos, which are temporary yeah. tattoos. And you also do, um, what do they call it, an Ask a Psychic session, where you read people live like kind of rapid fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that hard for you in an environment like that? I, I love doing it. That's Sunday at 2 p.m. Okay. So okay. I've got a room of 300 people oh my gosh. and everybody's raising their questions and they're getting mini readings. And when they walk out of that room, uh, my, uh, my staff say, oh my God, they're, they're so happy because <laughs> what you told them they could relate to. Yeah, Victor Pareto, thank you yeah. for coming and taking some time with us. The Victory of Light Psychic Expo is Saturday and Sunday at the Sharonville Convention Center. Just go to local12.com, click on the Get It Now links. We've got all the details there. And again, two o'clock Sunday if you want to go see Ask a Psychic yeah. Victor. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Victor. Thanks so much. <laughs> we'll be